Hi everyone, this is Veronica. Today we are going to talk about eye stupas. And there is a special stamp which has been released recently about eye stupa. So we'll discuss that in detail. Now see Ladakh, where we are going to talk these eye stupas are built. Ladakh is a trans Himalayan mountain desert in the extreme north of India, with villages located at twenty seven hundred meter to four thousand meter altitude. So it is a cold desert with winter temperatures touching minus 30 degree and an average annual rainfall or snowfall of 100 mm so human settlements are almost always located around glacial streams which feed into the indus and other rivers as tributaries so we'll discuss why what are ice stupas why they are needed what is their significance how it is useful to human settlements for my video updates you can follow me on instagram and facebook So this is our channel Study IQ. If you are preparing for any government exam, our pen drive and tablet courses are also available. For additional information, you can call on these numbers or you can visit our website too. The PDF of this lecture will be uploaded on our website also in both the languages, Hindi and English. Now see what is the relevance of this topic. So you should know what are ice stupas, what is the building process, what is the mechanism, how they are built, and what is the significance. Now, why it is in news? As I told you, Indian Department of Post they have released a special stamp. The purpose to release the special stamp is to make people aware about the ice stupas. Now, ice stupa is a form of glacier grafting technique. So you might have heard, you all must have heard, in fact, about glaciers. Now, see ice stupas. In short, you can say these are the process to build artificial glaciers. Ice stupas are the artificial glaciers. so they create artificial glaciers used for storing winter water which otherwise would go unused in the form of conical shaped ice heaps so the shape of ice stupa is like a conical shape you, i will show you in the picture also now this idea of the ice stupa project was conceptualized by H I A L H I A L is Himalayan Institute of Alternatives Ladakh by Sonam Wangchuk you must have heard about Sonam Wangchuk in the movie Three Idiots also so basically his main motto was to reduce the problems of ladakhi farmers in springs now just see what is the background behind this see climate change in ladakh it has shrunk glaciers and made rainfall and temperature unpredictable so water is required to irrigate fields of barley apples and other crops during spring but glaciers do not melt till summer now that is why this idea came to him and how it came because one day he was moving over a bridge where he saw the cones of ice which have been not melted even when the direct sunlight was not over them so he thought that this concept could be conceptualized to make ice stupas so to spare farmers a dry spell and a barren a uh, yield engineer sonam wangchuk even his recipient of ramen magazine award 2018 he invented ice stupas now there are a lot of features of ice stupas like it is a way to bring irrigation to people in the form of glacier grafting technique saving winter water that flows waste in a cone shaped stupa so this stupa basically will melt slowly and serves the purpose of drinking and irrigation now why are they built obviously because the main thing here is to freeze and hold the water that keeps flowing and wasting away down the streams and into the rivers throughout the winter so instead this ice will melt in the spring time just when the fields need the watering so suppose uh, the stream is flowing from the glaciers like this now this water is going waste in winter specifically so we will divert a part of it towards the ice stupa i will tell you the process building process also now firstly see how they look so the shape of glacier this artificial glacier is somewhat as i told you conical now what we do how they are built when the stream is going like this so the pipes are connected here underground why underground because if they won't be underground the temperature outside or on the field will be below minus below 0 degree in minus so even in the pipes this water will freeze so to stop the freezing of water in the pipes they are settled below the surface of earth so water which is so water which is 
flowing upstream at least 60 meter is brought here so now this is basic science that water always tries to maintain its level so even if it is coming downstream it will try to maintain its level that is 60 meter so we will fit a nozzle fountain nozzle over the pipe so with pressure water will rise above now when the water will rise above the out temperature outside in the environment is very low that it will get frozen so just like this the water will trickle down in a conical shape as you might have seen in the fountains also and this will help us forming a ice stupa above 30 to 50 meters height so basically the small models were also built the, this achieve, they achieved by freezing the stream water vertical in the form of huge ice towers or cones of 30 to 50 meter as you can see in the picture now these ice mountains can be built right next to the village itself where the water is needed very little effort or investment would be needed except for laying one ground pipeline from higher point on the stream so normally the head difference is easily 100 meter over a distance roughly one to three kilometers now see how does it work so as i told you the working 60 meter upstream would easily rise to 60 meter above the ground this is the basic science that why the water is rising above towards uh, with pressure 60 meters or 50 meters what now what is the significance this is very important so this is just a survival technique there is a water crisis in the cold desert to meet that water crisis this uh, invention is very helpful and moreover this is apart from the naturally saved water in the slopes of mountains also and there's a capacity to store around 30 to 50 lit lakh liters of water in them now there are also certain complaints from other communities about ice stupas like as i told you this is how the stream flows so sometimes what happens there are villages upstream there are villages downstreams now there are complaints coming from the villages downstream they say they are utilizing the water diverting the water upstream and they are not able to get the sufficient water downstream but however Swanam Wangchuk has given the answers about it that it will not happen it won't affect the flow of water towards the villages which are there in the downstream uh, near the downstream of the flowing streams so even government has settled up a committee to look into these kind of complaints but whatsoever this ice stupa concept is very amazing because no power is needed no motors are needed basic science concept that you read in your high schools is applied in the real life to build ice stupas so this is all about today's lecture if you have any con uh, queries you can contact me on social media instagram facebook email thank you